What up, though? We got the Wood Knight, my baby Go. My baby Go, 363. You know what this is. What's up, my dog? Man, I'm chilling, getting to it. All right, so we're going to uh, hop on this probably the main question a lot of people in the city got for you. What is 36 feet? We know it's 365 days in a year, but what is 36 feet to you? See, 365 to me is it's the most. You know what I mean? That's what we is, you feel me? Every day we on one. Every day we on the same shit. There ain't no change or nothing, man. We been about this shit and we been doing it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's the real shit. Oh, okay, I think so. Three, six, five, basically every day, me and my, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Niggas locked in. It's the mo, we locked in. Like, that's what it is. So that's why it's three, six, five. You feel me? That's why I be like three, six, feet when I be coming in this shit. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Let people know. Yeah, that's like your, your the intro on your music when you popping in on yeah. there. You know, coming in there real loud, we know. So, what's the mo? What's, what's this? The mo is me, my baby Roddy, mm -hmm. my baby Tad. My baby Wap and my baby Nick and Richie and uh, Richie and Nick the same nigga and my baby Mosey. Okay, real tight over there with that Mosey. Yeah, real tight. Locked in, been knowing each other for man. How long that's been going on? I probably knew, I probably knew some of them niggas since I was like in the second grade. You feel me? And then I knew some of them since I got to like ninth grade, high school. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They is my man's. You feel me? That we is tight. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's how it is. And my brothers, all of them niggas for real. All right, all right. So, y'all locked in. When the um, when the rapping thing come about with? Wait, wait, wait. We gonna go do this. How old is you? Twenty five. Twenty five. All right. You was born here, in Grand Rapids. Yeah, yeah. Well, Grand Rapids. I was born in the Crested Projects on the north side. You know. Okay, north side. So we gonna get back to that part. You know, I just gotta make that the intro right now. So, all right. So back to this. What made the group, the, the rap thing, what, when did rap hit the group? When did it hit the most? See, like, when I first came around, Roddy was already rapping and shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. and him and a couple other niggas that was cool with, they was rapping. I was, I used to rap back in the day when I was in sixth grade with my baby Tookie. Yeah. You feel me? Y'all know him, he, uh, you know, uh, off the uh, Young Bros. Mm -hmm. Tookie, you know, he rap from Grimes too, so shout out to them too, you feel me? That's my baby. You feel me? I started rapping with him and shit. So, back, so when I met Roddy and them, Roddy was rapping. He used to always tell me to rap and shit with him. I'm on rap, bro. Yeah. So we didn't take it serious, you know, until we really got to doing serious shit. Yeah, yeah. So the, the first breakout song for you was Free Boosie. Yeah, that's when I first started rapping. Sort of, that's like the first song I ever wrote. Yeah. I, I ever, yeah, that's the first song I ever wrote. Like, wrote, I mean, rapped on the, in the studio, like, basically, like, yeah. on the track. And you was feeling that shit. You, Nah, I didn't even like it. You didn't like it? No, I ain't like none of the first <laughs> songs I did. Yeah. See, you keeping it real though. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? What you didn't like about it? What was it? I ain't like how it sounded. You feel me? I felt like I, I didn't have a rhythm on me. You feel mm -hmm. me? I felt like it wasn't me. Yeah, it was the beginning. So at the end of the day, I was I used to say like I don't want to rap. Mm -hmm. it was, I didn't feel like it was, I was nervous or something like that. I felt like. So when you break out that shit, when what made you like, oh shit, I really do got a flow on this shit. What? What got to it? Was it a beat that you, I mean, like certain beats you start feeling, or was it just you just getting the experience in? What was it that made you like, oh yeah, now nah, I got it? Man, it was, it had to be. Like, people that was close and people that's around me, like, just seeing me out and about and be coming up to me, like, man, that shit hot. You feel yeah. me? That shit, you feel me? Ooh. And I'm thinking, like, okay, if they think that's hot, I can do better. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I took it like that. You feel me? Then I just ran with it. And, just come cool. with that bit. Yeah, so shit, you basically had the, the support around you. Basically, everybody really put you, you know what I'm saying? Put it in your head that you had it. Yeah, they want me to do this shit, you feel me? That's what's up, bro. Shit, you giving the people what they want. Ain't nothing like supplying and demand, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, That's what I got. So, um, the, the north side, you say you grew up on the north side, Christian Project. What was that like? Was it, you know, like I'm from the south side. I know what the south side, like, you know, you tied in on the south too, but yeah. growing up on the north, I know that's where you was, like you said, you grew up on the north. What was yeah. that like for you? What was, you know, so, Shit, so and, the, and the Jets, you feel me? I grew up in the Crescent Projects, bro. That's like the heart of the north. You feel mm -hmm. me? Every day that bitch was real, you feel me? Like niggas out there scraping every day. You know, niggas out there selling the bag every day. You know, I ain't seen big homies on them things every day, right? Through that bitch, you know? Doors, line with doors, all that shit. I mean, it's, that was real life. 
real life drug area. Projects, projects. Real life projects, bro. You feel me? Like, because we used to see projects, man. Rappers, we had a project back then. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like that on the No, it's like, it's, if you ask OGs, like, if you ask older niggas that's generations before us, bro, they gonna tell you, bro, they came to the projects to make thousands, bro. You yeah. feel me? Like, bro, when I was growing up, bro, that shit was still going on, bro. Like, wow. it was still that, bro. Like, it was heavy drug trafficking, that bitch. Mm -hmm. Heavy police. You feel me? My mom didn't even want to let me lose, lead a stoop. Like, I couldn't even lead a front porch. Type bro. shit, yeah. Type shit, bro. Until I got tied in with one of my mans out there and I got to go on and just spend night at his house. Yeah. Type shit, you feel me? So he won, he got you out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They say, help you spread your wings, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. That's my favorite to the end of this day. <laughs> All right. So, um, you care to tell us who that, who that is? I go, baby, Tay Tay, D Glass. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> the music thing for you, you got this flow that's more like hype man flow. You know, in my eyes, when I think about it, I feel like you always turned up on your music. You know what I'm saying? You're ready to go. You got, you, you like, hear me on this beat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's your style? Do you get that from your music too? Or when you go in there, do you already be like that? Or that just, just high come? You know what I'm saying? What is it? What's your style? What you consider your style? When I be rapping, I be feeling like, sometimes I need to get hyper, you feel like, yeah. I be too calm and shit. Like, like I listen to your music. Mm -hmm. You seem, to me, you seem like you be more hyper, more up-tempo, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I rap on shit like people going, when people, people gotta listen to me, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, I don't rap like everybody, you feel me? Like, I listen to what I, right. I say, you feel me? Yeah. And then you listen to what I say, you can like, damn, my boy just said that. You can listen to one of my songs, bro, five times, and the, the tenth time you listen to it, you gonna hear something that you ain't hear none of the first time. It's like, damn, because you weren't paying attention for it. Right, right, you might right. have been just rocking to the beat or something, you know? Okay, okay, so you but you telling your story in that motherfucker too, basically your music, in a way. Yeah. That's what's up, that's what's up. So, <clears throat> when you, um, when you was shooting video, you shooting your video and stuff. Who you shooting your videos with? Who you like? Who you like recording? Who, you know what I'm saying? Who you like recording you on your videos? Uh, I be like being in. He high with them bitches. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I get my nigga fresher to the record me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? HD films. He high with them bitches. You feel me? Who else? There's other niggas I be popping up, bro. But niggas be want to tax and act funny and shit, bro. Like yeah. I ain't with all the extra shit, bro. Like just be keep it real, bro. I keep it real with you, bro. You feel me? Like. So I show love to people that show love to me, bro. That ain't trying to uh, say they thinking I'm I live this type of life, so they want an extra tax me. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. You when you charging another man something low. Okay, so you just you rather fuck with the real, you know, record. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta have something to do with your personality too. I ain't yeah, what you bring to me, bro. Why would I pay you a high lot of money if you ain't bringing nothing to me? Right, right, right. See, I feel, I feel. I can go play somebody got <laughs> a lot of views to do that. Okay, okay. So. And do you do how many videos you got released? Oh, no, like, probably first. about six. Probably about six of them. Yeah. I got videos with uh, Tino, Tino bands, like two, three of them bitches with my baby. You feel me? I got two with Roddy, or uh, three with Roddy, you feel me, or something like that. I got like two, three myself. Yeah, yeah. You so you got, you got a nice little variety out there. Yeah. So uh, that was all on YouTube or whatever. And I got one with my baby down. Oh yeah, you and I just did one, yeah. That bitch slapping. That bitch doing it. How that's how that's doing on views and stuff right now. Bitch I don't listen, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, my baby. <laughs> I don't be checking views or nothing like that, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause I know how I work, bro. In the city, I know how this shit is, bro. You feel me? So if you want to tap in, just tap in, bro. Right. You know who you making your music for, basically. Yeah. So you know. The people you fuck with, the people who support you, they seen a bit. Yeah, they know what's going on. Feel me? I feel, I feel the like other states gonna support me if they hear this shit. Like, you feel me? They gonna, yeah. they gonna understand this shit while we rapping. Right, right, right. They should catch on. They should relate. If you relate, it's easy yeah, to catch on to music. People, people don't listen to people music due to what they think of people. Right. And the only way I ain't gonna listen to your music if I know you a lying nigga on your rap, or you a rat. Right. <laughs> For real though. But, but period. Okay. That's what these interviews for. This what <coughs> I keep saying. I do these so people do know you are, know, and don't just be like what you said. Just like, oh, I think this about dog. I'm not gonna fuck with that music. Yeah. But really, like right now, people relate to you. They know you. They see your children doing. Right. You know, so they like, oh yeah, I'm fucking with dog. So yeah, let me bro. get more tapped into his music because I know who he is now. That's love. Don't yeah. me. It's all about love. Bro. Real shit sure, though. That's what's up. So where you planning on going with the music? You're like, I know you, of course, wherever it's gonna take you, but when you start out to do music, what was like, 
like your goal in your head, like fuck it, I'm making for the hood, I'm making it for me and my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Or we know, like I said, you know you wanted to go as far as it's gonna go, but when you first thought of it, where do you think you was gonna be at the end of this year? Popping. Popping. <laughs> like, popping, bro, making at least. I just wanna, bro, listen, I don't gotta be the hottest rapper. I just wanna be able to pop me enough that I can make legal money doing shows. Right. If I'm doing 5,000 a show or something like that, I'll be satisfied with that. Yeah. And I can keep going with that for years because I'm making legal money and I got a couple shows, you know? Right. I ain't greedy. I ain't greedy. You feel me? I, I just give me something yeah. so I can make legal money. Right. I come from times, you feel me? You know? It's shit hard. Right, right. Shit, it makes sense. I mean, that should be everybody go when they come to music or whatever, you know what I'm saying? At least make the legal money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're not doing it for the money, then you probably, I mean, I'm not saying you not doing it for a purpose, but you're kind of sidetracked because it's a lot of money in music. Just a motherfucker listening to you is making you go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just for somebody listening to your music. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up, whatever. <clears throat> so you got a mixtape coming that you're going to release, whatever? Yeah, I got a mixtape coming. I'll just be fucking around on this cover. I had some niggas do a cover, nigga. Somebody scam me on Instagram on the cover. Shut the before, fuck up. Yeah, you know, niggas broke his head. You know, they ain't send me the motherfucking uh, cover and shit. Wow. So I just didn't even care no more. I had to delete them off the Instagram. <laughs> so you want to get a new one? What's I'm the name of the cover. tape? I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm really finna name the tape. I don't just rap. I really rap shit. Yeah. So you going the long name this time? Yeah. It's just yeah. that's what it's because it's a statement. I don't really just rap. I really rap shit. <laughs> For real. You feel me? So that's just that's just what it is. You ain't yeah. gotta speak too much on that. Yeah. Like listen to the just listen to the tape. You see the name of that bitch. It's a statement for everybody that's rapping. It's a statement for everybody that listen to rap. It's a statement like, nigga, I don't just rap, I really rap.